Good morning everyone, no, good afternoon, I'm just so used to saying good morning but it is 10 to 1 so good afternoon everyone, welcome back to a brand new vlog. So I am just easing myself back into vlogging after having around about a month off over summer and I I'm just so excited about getting back into it again. I have really, really missed vlogging and just generally chatting to you guys. So I'm excited to get back into my weekly vlogs now. I know that you will have seen the balloon one last week, but that was now a couple of weeks ago. So I am now back on my weekly vlogging schedule. So I am, yeah, really, really excited. And actually this weekend is gonna be a really lovely one because it is bank holiday weekend, is the end of August. Um, I am, it's Friday today. I I just got home from work. Um, I've got the rest of the afternoon off, which is very, very nice. Saturday, so tomorrow, I've got a couple of hours work in the morning, and then I'm off. Um, I am getting my hair extensions refitted tomorrow, so that will be nice to get that done. Sunday and Monday, both Jamie and I are off work. So that will be really, really lovely. I think on Sunday, we're hoping to go to Brighton for the day, finally getting my wedding ring wedding ring sorted so I can wear it on the correct hand and not on my other hand. So hopefully we'll get that done on Sunday in Brighton and I think we're gonna to go to the Ivy for breakfast as well, which will be really, really lovely. And on Monday, I'm not sure what we are up to yet. There is a village fete, so we may go along to that and see, yeah, what's going on with that. I did actually take you to it last year, so it would be quite nice maybe to see um, what differences there are this year. So I'm looking forward to just a bringing you guys along with us on the bank holiday weekend. But first things first, guys, I am so excited. I have got a huge unboxing to do with you guys. So I have ordered three new dresses, a pair of shoes and a pair of sunglasses. Now the sunglasses are arriving today. They're not here yet, but they are arriving today. So um, hopefully by the time I do the unboxing, or actually I'm going to do it in a minute, so maybe not. But when I do the try on clips, hopefully I should have the sunglasses and so I can show you those as well. They are a pair of Celine ones. I saw them on Lydia Millen's channel and Lydia Millen has something, wears something, then I need it. So she looked so fabulous in them. And I, and I was trying to find other ones that were maybe a little bit more reasonably priced. I couldn't find any, so in the end I just did it and I ordered them. Betty is running around outside if you can hear that. Um, so yes, I'm looking forward to doing that big old unboxing. I basically bought a few things over the last few weeks and saved them up so that I can do them all with you so I didn't miss out on showing you what I've got. But the three dresses are quite summery dresses because I am not ready to let summer go yet. It has been the most amazing summer. The weather has been so amazing this year and I am just not ready for autumn and I'm certainly not ready for winter. I'm such a summer bunny and yeah, I'm a little bit gutted that it's the end of August and autumn will be fast approaching. But I'm not letting it go. I'm hoping and praying for a lovely warm Indian September, an Indian kind of September, October. That would be absolutely fabulous. So I am buying summer dresses, I am unboxing them and I am showing you them today and I could not be more excited. Right, should we just go and do it? Let's go and do it. That timing literally could not be any more perfect as I was literally finishing that last clip, the door went and the DHL man arrived with my sunglasses. I love our DHL delivery, honestly. They are my favorite delivery company. They're really good with letting you know updates and everything else and they're just really friendly. I mean, my DHL driver is just lovely. So, so friendly. Right, let's get into the sunglasses, shall we? So these are from Matches Fashion. Um, 
your order was carefully packed by, oh, I can't pronounce that name, per, per Petunia? Oh, it's really bad, isn't it? That's so British, isn't it, not being able to pronounce names like that. It's really poor. Okay, and the sunglasses are from Celine. What a beautiful box. Okay, let's pop that down. Look at that, how classic and just how wonderful is that? That is beautiful. Okay, pop that down there. And then we have got the sunglasses in Kiss. Really lovely, classic black leather case there. Really, really gorgeous. And oh, let's have a little look at the sunglasses. Oh, there's loads of packaging, <laughs> bear with. Okay, and here they are. So they are sort of a nice oval shape. And I just thought that they were really classic looking, almost a little bit vintage looking, which, you know, I love that style. It's got the Celine Triumph logo there on each of the arms. And, but other than that, it's quite understated. So unless you know the Celine logo, you wouldn't necessarily know that they're Celine, which I do quite like. Let's have a look oh, and see what they look like on. Oh, they're a little bit big. Hold on. Actually, that might be my extensions getting in the way. No, they're too big. Literally, look. Oh, I wonder if I can have the arms made smaller because actually, if I can get them up properly, why are they not going on? No, they're just not sitting properly. Look, they're just dropping down. I love them though. This is, a, this is not, not ideal. But I just I feel like I'd have to do this all the time. <laughs> and although that's quite a good look, it doesn't really protect your eyes from the sun. So it doesn't really do what you need to do. Oh, what a shame. They are gorgeous. I might see if Jamie can do something to maybe sort those out, make them sit a little bit better. Um, I'm trying to feel whether it's my extensions getting in the way, but it's not. They're just literally just sliding off of my nose. How bizarre. How bizarre. Well, at least it would have saved me a little bit of money, I guess. I mean, let's look at the positives. Okay, let's move on to the shoes. I haven't lost all hope with the sunglasses. I'm hoping that Jamie might be able to, like, I don't know, maybe if he can tighten the arms. But I actually feel like... Hold on, where are they? Shoes are on the floor. Um, but I actually feel like this bit here is just too wide. And so, and I've got quite a narrow nose and I just don't think it, it sits on it properly. Um, very bizarre. I've never had that before with a pair of sunglasses where they just literally fall off. But um, I'll see, see if Jamie reckons it's the arms or something. But uh, right, where are the shoes? They're on the floor. Well, let's get these out. Now, these are from Nutter Porter and I saw them and I just was like, oh, they are beautiful. And my previous ones that I currently have are looking a little bit battered now. So I was due some new ones. So I have picked up a pair of Castania wedges. Now my current ones are actually not Castania, they're LK Bennett, but they're exactly the same. But you can probably see they're just a little bit dirty. Um, I'm gonna try and stick them through the washing machine, but I have had those for four years and I have worn and loved them. So I don't feel so bad about buying a new pair because I know I'm gonna get the wear out of them. So now these are pretty special. Um, oh, it's in a double knot. Let's just do it off this way. Oh, they are beautiful. <laughs> oh, okay. So these are the embroidery Anglais Castania wedges. Look at those. Look at that scallop detail around the foot. Oh my goodness, they're going to look absolutely glorious on. And the tie detailing is beautiful again with that embroidery Anglais and that scallop detailing. And a nice high wedge, but because it's got this platform bit, doesn't actually feel very high. So love those. Castania wedges are so unbelievably comfortable and I just think these are going to look beautiful. They do look slightly too big actually. I got a size 38, so I got a five and I am generally a four, four and a half, but it did say to size up if you're between. So I did. Oh, who's that? 
Oh, it's DHL telling me that my sunglasses have arrived. Um, yes, it did say to size up, so we'll try them off and we'll see. But really beautiful. Loving those. Okay. Oh, this is like Christmas. Best day ever. Let's get into the dresses. So dress number one is from a company called Wiggy Kit. Now I have never ordered from this brand before. It is a British brand, which I absolutely love. Um, and now that it is on my radar, I will definitely be buying from them more. Looking at the website, I mean, I could have literally added so many more than one dress to my basket. They have some really, really gorgeous pieces. But this dress in particular, I was like, oh, it just looked magical. I love that it comes in this little bag as well. So that's really nice. Okay, let's get into the dress. Little receipt there. Okay. Oh, the fabric looks gorgeous already. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, this sunglasses would look so good with this dress. Oh, look. Oh, look at the scallop detailing. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. And the back, guys, look at the back. So you've got this kind of um, ruched panel here and then a nice little open back detail. And the scallops go all the way down the dress into this kind of midi to maxi length dress. Gorgeous square neckline as well. That is going to be absolutely glorious. And the fabric is like a cheesecloth kind of fabric as well. So really, really lovely. Shouldn't crease too much, which is really, really nice. Um, I love linen and I have a lot of linen dresses, but of course linen does crease as I'm showcasing today with a linen shirt that I don't even bother to iron it but that should stay pretty much crease free and it's gorgeous oh it's gorgeous that's betty just coming in to explore hello darling it is national doggy day today apparently so when we pop out later we're going to pop out and get some sushi um i might have to pick up a little doggy treat for betty boo okay the first dress is a win oh my goodness just look at the elegance of this dress look at the scallops absolutely stunning i brought you downstairs actually because i thought hopefully you can see me full length downstairs because it's a little bit short upstairs to be able to do that but i've just paired it with my um Dior bag and I don't know if you can see, hopefully you can, the new Castania wedges, absolutely stunning. They are unfortunately far too big. They are at least one size too big. So I've ordered another two sizes. I've gone for my usual um, size UK four and I've also gone for a three just in case because these are, I kid you not, miles too big. I'm barely keeping them on my feet. But um, I just wanted to show you them because they are so so pretty just yeah gorgeous gorgeous shoes so um but i would it says on the website to size up but i would actually size down in yeah with, with what's happened to me anyway but how beautiful is this dress and let me just show you the back gotta get my hair out of the way because that is beautiful really lovely open back there it's just so elegant and so beautiful and it's literally that perfect length it just kind of grazes the ankles really beautiful i love 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 the fabric really lovely that cheesecloth kind of fabric really stunning and i really like the square neckline as well it's not a usual neckline for me but i think that looks really really beautiful and again super elegant so all in all i would say this dress is an absolute winner definitely keeping it okay actually i've got to go and get the sushi very soon so let's quickly unbox these other two dresses so these are both from farfetch they are both zimmerman dresses at the time of ordering these i think it will be done um by the time this video goes up but farfetch were doing 20 percent off quite a large range of pieces and quite a large range of Zimmerman pieces. So I took advantage of that. And then actually we do have an Amex, Jamie and I, and they then had an offer on Farfetch of a further 10% off. So it was, yeah, it worked out that it was worth buying, guys. So, oh, this fabric is beautiful. 
Oh, just, I love Zimmerman. I'm sorry, but there is, there is nowhere that does dresses like Zimmerman that do dresses. I have searched high and low for alternatives because, I mean, let's face it, Zimmerman dresses are rather expensive. But the fabric, the cut, just the style of them, you just, you just can't get better in my opinion. And just like, look at this fabric, it's gorgeous patchwork linen fabric. Goes down into a really beautiful midi length detail as well, or midi length length. Really love that. And it's got this cut out around the waist here. I will obviously show you on, but it's, uh, yeah, it's cut out around the waist and then it goes down to the skirt and it's actually a very low V cut on the top which is quite unusual for me that's um, not a usual style that I go for but I think that will be gorgeous and it's actually got a little bow here too but I did think about tying that up around the back I thought that might look quite nice um, as an alternative way to wear it as well but I mean look at this fabric that's just something else oh, I really hope that fits because I think that's going to be gorgeous. Okay, dress number two and Zimmerman number one. How beautiful is this fabric? Now, it is generally a little bit more low cut than what I like to wear, but I actually don't mind it. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna escape. I'm not gonna go anywhere. I don't feel as though I'm gonna be touching it or anything like that, but it's just, it's beautiful. It's just, it's a real showstopper of a dress, isn't it? It's truly stunning. And then the back is really nicely cut out there as well. So that just looks gorgeous too. I absolutely love it. As with most Zimmerman dresses, you've got the glorious big old puff sleeves there as well. It's the perfect summer dress, the perfect holiday dress. If we were going to Ibiza this year, I would be rocking this dress there. However, I will wear it here because I just don't care. And also when we go to the Maldives in February, this dress will be ideal for that. I've just paired it with my Valentino rock studs, my um, Saint Laurent little pouch bag, and I just think that is perfect for an evening out. How gorgeous would this dress be as well for a wedding, like a beach wedding as a guest? I think that'd be absolutely gorgeous. I just want to try it with this bow just tied up around the side here. So let me just hold on. Let's pop that down. And let's just see what that looks like. Rather than having the bow in front, having a bit of extra fabric and taking it into a bow behind. I think I might quite like this. Um, oh. So it looks like that then. And I actually, I really like that. I actually think I prefer it like that. And then you've got the bow in the back, not the best tied bow in the world, but I think it will do. Um, yeah, I think just with that extra bit, I really like that. I think that adds a little bit of extra something to the dress, actually. I do prefer it like that, so I think that is how I shall wear it. So if you hadn't guessed, this is also going to be a keeper. I mean, how could I send this dress back? Really, how could I send it back? Okay, final dress, final, final dress. Gorgeous. Okay, this is going to be the perfect transitional dress to go from summer to autumn, but it will be an ideal transitional dress, especially if we have a nice warm summer. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, the colour is gorgeous. It looked almost brown on the website, but it's not. It's this most wonderful khaki green. It's coming quite brown on camera but it is more greeny than it is brown in real life I wonder why that's coming up so brown but it's definitely more of a khaki green it is a wrap style again that sort of mid axi length dress look at that pattern that gorgeous floral print look at the bird there oh that's beautiful all the way down and then it's trimmed with this really gorgeous um, detail there look at that that's absolutely stunning and I just think this will be a great dress to throw on a pair of like tan colored sandals with or even a pair of tan colored boots I think that you could just certainly rock that with this dress as well so oh I love it well hopefully providing they look lovely when I try them on all three dresses should be a win
Right, third and final dress. And again, I'm afraid to say that it's a win. I really like it. I actually don't have many or maybe even any wrap style dresses, but it's really, really lovely. The fabric is just beautiful. It is actually worth saying that both this dress and the previous dress, so both the Zimmerman ones, are not lined. That does bug me, but it is just part of Zimmerman. A lot of their dresses aren't because they're just of this beautiful kind of linen fabric. Um, I've just got a little um, slip skirt on underneath. Not particularly sexy, but that's what I've got on underneath. And I, I have quite a few of them. I think that one's just from Marks and Spencers. It was really, really cheap. And so for dresses like this, I just pop that on underneath. So I've got a little short um, skirt. So, it, you know, you, you just feel a little bit more comfortable. But absolutely gorgeous dress. Really, really lovely. I've paired it again with my Valentino rock studs. I've also gone with my... Bulgari Serpentini bag um, with this one as well. And I think just the thick strap of the bag and everything just actually makes it look a little bit more casual. And I did think if I want to just make it a little bit less casual, then I just hold it by the chain handle and that works as well. You can even, of course, take the strap off. But I think that works quite nicely together. I am looking, I am on the hunt for the most perfect tan coloured bag because I really feel like I'm missing that in my wardrobe. Um, Fendi have just released a new size in their peekaboo bags. It's petite, and it's probably not far off the size of this bag, maybe a little bit smaller, probably a bit more the size of my um, Lady Dior bag. And they've done it in a beigey colour, but I'm just waiting for that bag to come out in tan, because they do tan in the other sizes, but just not in that size. So hopefully that will come out fairly soon, and then I can snap that up, because I think that will be the ideal bag for me. But um, back to the dress. Gorgeous, love it, so perfect for this time of year, like transitioning into sort of autumn time. The colours are just glorious it's you know it's long sleeve so you're not going to be cold but equally it's a very thin light beautiful fabric so you're not going to get too hot in it as well absolutely gorgeous again unfortunately it's a winner and it's going to stay in my wardrobe so guys i have just arrived at the farm shop to pick up the sushi and i've just realized that i haven't told you anything about that so jamie and i have recently found this company called little fish sushi in the sticks and it's basically a japanese place and they make incredible sushi honestly it's outstanding it's really really high quality food and they deliver it to local farm shops and you just go and pick it up yourself so you order it the night before or I think you have to have 12 hours so you order it before and then you can go and pick it up at your local farm shop I think it's such a great concept and it's such a good idea because when you're out kind of in the countryside there's there's nothing really around you know you either cook yourself or you might might go to a pub or something like that but there's no there's nothing really like that around here you know we don't get Deliveroo or anything like that so I just thought it was a great concept and there's lots of different farm shops kind of in the West Sussex area that you can pick to go and pick it, pick it up from and um, they have just re very recently added Cowdery to the list which is the one that is our local farm shop um, and the one where I always come in and buy plant pots from but I'm not doing that today I do not need any more plant pots um, but we have got it previously a couple of weeks ago from another farm shop in Milford called Secrets Farm Shop it's quite a well-known one um, but yeah they've just added Cowdery to the list which makes it even easier for us to get it so I'm I'm just going to pick that up in a moment probably have a little look around the farm shop as well because i can't help it but i just thought it was such a great idea and honestly the sushi rolls are so good i'll show you them when we get them but they are just outstanding i just love japanese food the flavors in japanese food is just oh so so good so that will be our dinner this evening um but i think i'm about time now to go and pick it up so i'm gonna head into the farm shop and get the sushi and see what else they've got back from the farm shop and we have got our sushi i will quickly show you what it looks like see if i can do this one-handed oh looks good okay i have got um what we've got in here on my phone here i don't think that's going to focus so 
dragon roll. Let me just, let's just pop you in a bit better lighting. Hold on. I think that's a little bit better. So this one along here is the dragon roll. I mean, just look at everything on that it looks exquisite and this is tiger prawns cucumber crispy shallots tuna mayonnaise avocado wasabi peas tobiko and unagi sauce wow and then this one is um a chef special one let me just get that up on my phone da, 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 da. Our chef's development menu it is and it is duck confit so duck confit hoisin and raw cacao uramaki scallions and cucumber with a crispy pancake garnish <gasps> yes yeah, so there's eight pieces of each of those just it looks exquisite and the presentation is truly beautiful as well yummy cannot wait to get that in my belly later and then finally in here we have got two king prawn bao buns now if you have not had a bao bun before you are missing out they are absolutely exquisite honestly they are to die for so 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 tasty so that will be dinner this evening good morning everyone it is now sunday morning i don't know why the lighting is looking a little bit bluey this morning because it is actually the most glorious day outside we've just got ready and we are about to head down to brighton to get my ring sorted which is fabulous and we have got um breakfast at the ivy and we're just going to have a little wander around so i just thought i'd bring you along with us with whatever we end up getting up to i'm wearing my beautiful new zimmerman dress i will show you quickly at full length in a moment so let's get going with the day jamie wants to get in on the outfit of the day action oh am i stunning you was it your tom ford no no deal oh lovely very very nice so just showing you quickly a full length is my um, beautiful new zimmerman dress it's just truly beautiful <laughs> don't give it a thumbs down you know you love it <laughs> yeah so so happy right let's go very bright but we have just got to brighton and we're just walking down the lanes all of these amazing little jewelers here and coming up is the one that jamie got my engagement ring from and wedding ring love love the brighton lanes although so many shops are now closed in brighton we haven't been for ages um oh there we go vogue diamonds is that not it i thought it was vogue oh there we go vogue diamond so we've just got out the jewelers they are going to resize my ring and add on the extra ring but we're going to keep the extra ring for our anniversary next year jamie is now a little bit worse off <laughs> feeling, a <bit> <laughs> feeling a bit woozy from the deposit but it will just look amazing i can't remember if i've told you i think i have but we're gonna have another diamond band put on the other side of my engagement ring so it'll be like three bands together and i just think it will finish it off and just look perfect so it's an eternity ring this is what we're saying and five year anniversary feels like it's been an eternity, <laughs> feels like it's been an eternity. how rude is he guys how rude but yeah i feel like five year anniversary you know you deserve diamonds right The most incredible bathrooms on the planet. I would actually quite like to live here. <laughs> Look at it. Look at that flower arrangement. Oh, and the ceiling. Fabulous. Dog ice cream, we've added joint aid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bad boys are good. She ain't gonna get her nose down there. I know, you've got a little short nose. Is it nice though? Yeah. Hello guys, we are obviously back from Brighton now. We've just popped to the farm shop and we've got Betty some little doggy ice cream and we also have some salted caramel ice cream as well. So we're gonna pick up some dinner whilst we're here and 
chill out for the rest of the day so i think i've got quite a lot of footage so i'm actually going to finish the video here i hope you guys have enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and i'll see you all in the next one bye